This video covers three pivotal events in 1778 during the Revolutionary War, including the winter at Valley Forge and the battles of Monmouth and Rhode Island. Valley Forge near Philadelphia served as the winter encampment of the Continental Army from 1777 to 1778. Soldiers faced extreme cold, a severe lack of food and supplies, and inadequate shelter, resulting in widespread disease and death. However, the army underwent a remarkable transformation when I brought in Baron von Steuben, a Prussian army officer who spoke little English. He became the army's chief drill master, teaching the troops new discipline and battle tactics. During their six-month stay at Valley Forge until June 1778, some 2,000 men, roughly one in six, died of disease. After leaving Valley Forge in June, the troops fought in the Battle of Monmouth. While it was a tactical draw, it was the first time the army fought confidently as a cohesive unit. Troops used artillery against the British and even launched bayonet counterattacks. Valley Forge represents a significant turning point in the war, where the Continental Army learned to fight as a unified professional army able to defeat the British. The Battle of Monmouth was fought on June 28, 1778 in Monmouth County, New Jersey. After training his troops for several months in Valley Forge, General George Washington learned that British General Henry Clinton and his army planned to evacuate Philadelphia to reassemble in New York. Washington ordered troops under General Charles Lee to attack the British rearguard. Lee's poor leadership and lack of confidence in the soldiers allowed the British to gain an early advantage, forcing the Americans to retreat. I was furious when I arrived at the battle and immediately replaced Lee from his command with Lafayette. I rallied the retreating troops and instructed them first to form a defensive line before launching a series of counterattacks led by Major Generals William Alexander and Nathaniel Green. After many hours, the battle resulted in a tactical draw with both sides suffering high casualties from fighting and the extreme heat. It was the longest one-day battle of the war. The Battle of Monmouth demonstrated the effectiveness of the training and discipline from the harsh winter at Valley Forge. The Battle of Rhode Island took place on August 29, 1778, near Newport, Rhode Island. Newport was occupied by British forces led by General Robert Pigott. The Continental Army, led by General John Sullivan, hoped to push the British out of Newport. Desperate for more troops, Sullivan's army included America's first black regiment, composed of 130 enslaved men promised to be freed for enlisting. This battle was also meant to be the first operation involving American and French forces. However, French Admiral Comte d'Estaing was forced to remove his ships before the battle after being attacked by the British Navy and enduring a severe storm. Washington sent reinforcements to assist Sullivan, but it was still insufficient. Both sides fought hard, but the battle ended in a draw, with the Americans suffering 181 casualties and the British 260. The Battle of Rhode Island was a significant part of the Revolutionary War. It was the first time black slaves fought on the Continental side and was the beginning of future joint operations between the Americans and their French allies.